We're talking about a high back cast, aren't we? One of the biggest faults that people have in fly casting is what we call breaking the wrist. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to maintain that high back cast without breaking the wrist. First of all, let's discuss what does breaking the wrist mean? Close stance, you make your back cast bump. But just as the rod stops there over the back cast cone, you do this. People open their wrist. It's called breaking their wrist. The rod has now dropped horizontally. And I'm going to show you exactly what that does to the cast. Here we are, forward cast cone, back cast cone, triangle method. I'm going to use closed stance for this one just because I'm feeling like it. Here we are. No slack. Everything's perfect. Everything's set up nicely, isn't it? There's no slack in the line. We're going to do a nice, peeling, smooth lift. We're going to make a nice high back cast, but then we're going to break the wrist and see what that does. There you go. See it straight away, can't you? The line dropped on the ground. We literally threw it down onto the ground. Here's an interesting thing. The line follows the path the rod tip takes. A bit like a laser pen. Wherever you shine the tip of that laser, the laser will follow in the same way that the line will follow the path the rod tip takes or the shape it makes. Let's show you that again. Everything's set up right. We've been watching the tutorials. We've practiced the triangle method. We're doing really well. And then, just at the crucial moment, we break the wrist. And everything goes wrong. It goes wrong not only on the back cast, but watch the forward cast break the wrist. Now look at the forward cast piled down in a sort of parachute with a massive heap of slack as well. Not only does breaking the wrist cause massive problems on the back cast, but we know now that the back cast is a setup for the forward cast. So it follows that it's going to ruin our forward cast. And let me show you what it does do to it. Here's our back cast. We've broken the wrist and we just throw it up. We just throw the forward cast up. So many people, when they come to fly fishing, they say, why is my leader not landing straight? Why does my leader fall down like a parachute in a, in a heap? Well, this is one of the causes. It's not the forward cast that was the issue. It was the back cast. Okay, let me show you again. Let's use open stance this time. Why? Because we can. Stop. Oh, and we've dropped and we've broken the wrist. So now we're going to throw the line up and it just piles down in a great big heap. And there's slack again, and we know we can't have slack. We can't even stop and drop correctly because the line's gone so much in the air when we stop and drop, <laughs> it just lands in a squiggle. So breaking the wrist not only gives us problems on the back cast, but it gives us problems on the forward cast.